Your mindset is very powerful, but it won't overcome bad recovery. If you're consistently under eating, never sleeping enough, and poorly managing your vomit intensity, do not expect the greatest of results. Yes, it's better than doing nothing or skipping workouts completely to the point where you're not even training anymore. Oh, I used to lift. The best thing you can do is pick yourself up, and in some cases, you might actually PR. There have been many instances where I film YouTube videos for guys like, okay, let me just get a workout in. It turned out to be the greatest. So sometimes how you feel is not actually what's going on. You might be recovered. But if you're not, and I mean truly not, your mindset's not gonna fix that. Best thing you could do is take a little nap, hype up, maybe eat a large meal before, and consume lots of caffeine or a strong pre-workout, right? But that's only a band-aid, you're not correcting the root cause. And what you'll find is that if you constantly do this over and over again, it gets more difficult to pull off. And next thing you know, you're going backwards and you're suffering from injuries because your body will give you signals. There will be red flags. You'll notice little things creeping up. And if you don't pay attention to those signs, say hello to Snap City. Now you can't lift for a long period of time. So yes, the mindset can push you through, get you in the door, but eventually you just get kicked out. So what I'm saying is that you wanna have that strong mindset. Think long-term, set high standards for yourself, but don't think that you can overcome the physical just by believing that it's possible. Yes, you manifest your reality. Yes, you are what you think. It might delude you into thinking that you're greater than you realize. It might, you might think that your fucking genetics are on point when they're not. Placebo is a real thing. Let's not deny that. But at the end of the day, you have to sleep. You got to eat. And your mindset might not even be the best in that case. Maybe you're just going in a gym like, hey, I'm going to do the work. I don't give a fuck what happens. This is what it is. Let me just enjoy the process. But you're sleeping right. You're recovering properly. And you're running a good system. No problem there. Mindset prevents you from being a bitch. And that's something that I want to talk about more in this video. What to do when you're not feeling the best. You know for a fact that you did everything wrong and now you pretty much got your mindset left. Here's some guidelines. If you were planning on maxing out, don't. Leave it at 90% and that's it. Or do a classic three sets of one at 90%. Use strategies that are less stressful on recovery. Because even if you do PR, you're going to create so much fatigue and you're going to have to hype up like crazy. So it's better to dial it back just a little bit. And what if you're doing volume training? Well, instead of doing a 5x5, five five, do a 3x5. Or instead of doing a 5x10, do a 3x10. Tone down the volume, tone down the intensity a little bit. And then the exercise selection, don't be picking overloading exercise that create massive levels of fatigue. Choose variations that are easier to recover from. A really good strategy for those who are maxing out twice a week, by the way, is Monday, you can do flat bench, and then Thursday, overhead press. Or you can use an incline bench. Now, what about lower body training? Let's say you want to do Romanian deadlifts. Well, I'm going to say offer good mornings instead. Again, half the weight, less fatigue. In fact, someone's here to do that primarily in your training. So we really want to think about optimizing the recovery within the workout itself, dialing it back a little bit. Because if you really push, if you go balls to the wall, now you're really gonna have trouble recovering and you just increase the risk of getting injured. And that's another thing, when you're under-recovered and you're just trying to push it up here by hyping yourself up for every single set, you're typically gonna go to failure all the time. And again, that creates more fatigue, it's harder to recover from. So yes, you might PR, that's very well possible. You might get your three by three completing every single set and rep, right? But it's gonna be hard as hell to do. And next time you train, you're not gonna feel as good if you're consistently under recovering. And now you create a downward spiral and you find that it becomes more difficult. You're resting way longer. You have to listen to way more aggressive songs. Like I kind of talked about this in my hyping up video, but that's pretty much what's gonna to happen to you, but on another level, on a different scale, because you're not doing things right within the training and sleep and nutrition and all that. Like don't think you can fucking party all night, then the next day you're doing one of maxes crushing it. It's not going to happen. There's a reason why people make the best gains, optimize their lifestyle for the least amount of stress, the greatest meal preparation, and also sleeping correctly, because that's probably your greatest supplement right there. So what I'm saying is that, yeah, mindset is key. It changed my life. It allowed me to set standards I never thought were possible, especially when I viewed the old time strongman and some of the elite naturals right here in YouTube fitness. But at the end of the day, what got me these gains was proper programming which led to good recovery, which led to amazing progress in long-term. Consistency. Consistently inducing progressive overload in a way that makes sense, in a way where I'm not beat the fuck down every single time I gotta step into the gym. That's what I'm talking about. So keep thinking strong, keep thinking big, grind your ass off. Believe in the natural standards, because it's a real thing. But remember, there's the physical aspect which must be assessed. And I'll probably make more videos on that, how to really get the best recovery possible. So that's it, man. Give me your feedback down below. Are you sleeping three, four hours a night? 
getting the calorie deficit, but then you're just hyping yourself up, thinking you make all kinds of gains. Like, what's your experience been with mindset and bad recovery? I'd love to hear it.